You can't talk to them about we in a condition of curses and they got millions. They don't want to hear that. Shoot, they just chocolate covered eat it much, really. They don't want to hear that. I mean, where they at? That really, you know, you're looking at um, that's really trying to help we as a people, point blank. It's coming back and trying in their own way to filter some 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 monies through to help our people. But it's it's two hundred thousand homeless in LA County. Two hundred thousand, y'all. Someone was telling me the other day. That's a lot of people. And they steady sending them here. And I'm not talking about just getting setting up some non-profit so that you can get your money back. You're not giving if you whatever you give is you get it back. You ain't gave nothing. If you give a hundred dollars, you get a hundred dollars back. What you give? Nothing. You get ten thousand dollars, you get write it write it off and get your ten thousand dollars back. You ain't gave nothing. You'd be surprised how educated the poor in spirit are. They know all the games. All they say, all they do is study. A lot of them, they just study. They know about a lot of different things. Because you pour them in, your mind is is lax. You have the time. They have the time where everybody else got to be worried about. I, 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 me, 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 I, 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 I. They dealing with learning. So they, can say, so they can go sit in the library and look at everything they, they want to look at. I mean, tell me times I'm going to skip row. I ask certain people, well, what's, what you got for me? They got something. They bring something to the table that I didn't know. It's amazing. But blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It says, for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What would you give for in exchange for your soul? When the most I say, hey, don't be af don't be afraid of the man that can kill the body, not that he can do nothing. Masha Koshai said, hey, be afraid of him. When he fear him, that when he kill the body, when he kill you, you can cast your butt into hell. Now you don't you don't you don't look at it. It says. For what is a man profit if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And then he shall reward every man according to his works for what you have done, whether it was good or bad. And rewards you whether it was good or bad. Verily, verily, I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. I mean, that's that might be hard for you to some of you to understand, but you better understand this. That's what he told Daniel. Daniel's 12, 13. But go thou thy way till the end be, the end be. For thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. See? Daniel didn't have to come back here. That's why I say some, he told them, some standing here, so they ain't gonna have to, they ain't gonna, they will not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Said it. He's coming to bring death, y'all. He's going to bring it. Those that's not ready, I'm going to tell you. Suffer, you better try harder. And deny yourself, you know, for the things that you're all high-minded about because 
there's nothing to be high minded about in this kingdom. You living in this kingdom, you all puffed up. Deuteronomy 10, Deuteronomy 10, and verse 12, Deuteronomy 10 and 12, and now Israel, what does the most high thy power require of thee, but to fear the most high thy power? to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the most high thy power with all thy heart, with all your mind, and with all thy soul, with all your body, every fiber of the mortal body that the most high has given us, which is only for a certain period of time, to keep the commandments of the most high and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good yeah. for your good that's how because see all prosperity is not good for prosperity some people deal with the wicked and they receive rewards but it always lasts so long like I say you say sign you say what can a man give up for his for his own soul it lasts so long and it's supposed to pull that card he's one that killed you see that deaf angel, poof. Dang, they sure did die young. All you have is memories. Look at uh, Ecclesiastes 7. Which one says, do no evil. Please ask because seven and one. Do no evil. So shall no harm come unto thee. Depart from the unjust. You gotta depart from the unjust, the unrighteous. And iniquity shall turn away from thee. See? Wickedness shall turn away from thee. When you turn away from the unjust, a lot of you hanging with the unjust, iniquity going to follow you because you're supposed to be an example of righteousness. That's why it says, depart from the unjust and iniquity, wickedness shall turn away from thee. My son, sow not upon the furloughs of unrighteousness and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. Seek not the most high preeminence, neither of the king, the seat of honor. Want to be all, because that's what I'm saying, everybody want to be in charge. And some people put themselves really above the most high of my shekel shai, because you never really hear about the most high. You never really hear a lot about the most high, a lot about the Mashiach of is manly Israel and the people. That's all the people were concerned about is themselves. But you ain't nothing without the Most High. We ain't nothing without the Most High. You say, justify not thyself before the Most High. And the Most High see everything. But some of you holy than thou in your own mind. But you don't act that way when you got to be checked and told this, that, and the state. You ain't got it together. But then you tell it, hey, you hold it in doubt. That's why he said, justify not thyself before the Most High and boast not of thy wisdom before the King. Seek not to be judged. Bring not able 
It says, being not able to take away iniquity, lest at any time thou fear the person of the mighty and lay a stumbling block in the way of thy uprightness. You see? You end up being a disgrace. Because you put a stumbling block in front of your own righteousness. It's all come down to being humble. Have humility. Verse 10. Be not faint hearted. When thou makest thy prayer. And neglect not to give alms. This means we gotta be giving alms into the work of the ministry. Laugh no man to scorn in the bitterness of his soul. But there is one which humbleth and exalteth. You hear that? There's one that humbleth and exalteth. Exalteth. <laughs> What's that say? Don't laugh nobody in the bitterness of his soul. He say, because he, he's the one that humbleth and exalteth. That's the most high. Look at Job 38 and 3. Job 38 and 3. Say, gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. <laughs> Say, where was thou when I laid the foundation of the earth? Where was you at? He said, where was you at when he laid the foundation of the earth? Declare if thou has understanding, say, so where would you at? Where was you at when the most I laid the foundation of the earth? You say, talk to me. If you have understanding, <laughs> who have laid the measures thereof? If thou know it, you know everything. Say, know this. You know this? <laughs> or who has stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? Who did this? Where was you at then? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of the Most High shouted for joy. Or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth as if it had issued out of the womb, like came up, closed back up. Who did that? Who was you at? Talking to you, old high, mighty, holy rollers, and know all, know it all. Say so when I when I made the cloud, the garment thereof, and thick darkness, a swallowing band for it, and break up. For it my decree place, decreed place, and set bars and doors, and said, Hitherto shall thou come, but no further. And here shall thy proud ways be stayed. So you can't go no further. The huge sea, you know, the sea covers three fourths of the earth. Then so where was you at then? Verse 4, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? <laughs> so where was you at?
Verse 12, as thou commanded the morning since thy days, since you've been on this earth, and caused the day spring to know his place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. So you're going to have shake the wicked out of the earth. Where was you at? It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. And from the wicked their light is withholding, and the high arm shall be broken. You hear that? All you private people and you wicked, your arm going to be broken. Your power going to be broken. As thou entered into the springs of the sea, you the sea has springs going into it. Or as thou walked in the search of the depth of the sea, some parts of the sea, we can't even venture to go down that is so deep. Had the gates of death been opened unto thee? To the pride people, who are you talking to? Where was thou when I laid the foundation of the earth? When he did all these things. How the gates, verse 17, how the gates of death have been opened unto thee? Or has thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? You know, doors to the shadow of death? Has thou perceived the breath of the earth? Declare it. Thou knoweth it all. Come on. He said, declare it. You know everything. <laughs> Most eyes be clouded, boy. <laughs> he says, thou oh, perceive the breath of the earth. Declare it. If thou knoweth it all. <laughs> where is the way where light dwelleth? Where is the way where light dwelleth? It's a place where light dwelleth. Once it leaves, it take us another, to another place. Here it is. And as for darkness, where is the place thereof? Where is the darkness go? It's dark, then it didn't become day, become light. It's a place where light goes when it get dark. It's a place where dark goes when it get light. Where is that at? Declare, thou knoweth it all. He said in verse 18, Declare, thou knoweth it all. Say, where is the way, verse 19, where is the way where light dwelleth? Where is the way where light dwelleth? And as for darkness, where is the place thereof? Where is darkness at? When it's light, where does darkness go? Where's the place where light dwelleth when it's dark? Thou that should have taken it to the bound thereof, and that thou should have known the paths of the house thereof. Knoweth thou it because thou was then born, or because the number of thy days is great? Has thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Have you entered into the treasures of the snow? Or has thou seen the treasures of the hell? What do you say? Declare it if thou knowest it all. What did he tell you? Verse 4. When thou went, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Verse 18, as thou perceive the breath of the earth, declare if thou knowest it all. Talk to me, he said. Verse 23, which I have, verse 22, has thou entered into the treasures of the snow? Or has thou seen the treasures of the hell? which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war. But what way is the light parted, which scattereth the east wind upon the earth, who have divided a water course for the overflowing of waters, or a way for the lightning of thunder, 
hear it away for the lightning and thunder. I mean, that's 